And we are back once again to Konosuba Fantastic Days. Today we are here continuing part 3. Continuing the adventures of Kazuma and Iris. Trying to get back her memories. Let's see if we can actually do it this time. And what the developments would be. Yeah, I wonder what Claire's reaction is gonna be. That's like, we know the solution to like get the objects, but will she respect the princess's wish to not use the treasury? Or will she be like, Princess, this is absurd. Let's just go and take it from the researchers. Damn it! I forgot. Damn it. I, I still forget to use my, like, dark team. Just so I can get all three crowns. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back to dark. Hit him with some attacks. Explosion. How many battles before we actually get to the story? How many monsters are in our way to stop us from explaining? Hey, Claire. Uh, the princess just wants a part-time job to pay for the item. Oh, so the sound's overlapping again. Thank you, Ainz, for updating us on the story. これが魔王軍かもと Uh, that's the boss. Hold on, wait. How, how many? How many, like, story things? Okay, it goes all the way up to 19. So, me, so means this is not the last one. But there is a boss enemy. この<笑> 
Alright guys, kill him. Finish him. Hoi. はい。Actual story. Okay, I'm guessing we brought her to the house. If you wish to behold the majesty of Lord Ainz, take the event quest without delay. Okay, so all the way up to 14. Gotta go. So we are at 11. Negotiation with the Magic Item Researcher, Part 3. After discovering Iris was working part-time jobs, Claire sat Kazuma down to give him a severe tongue lashing. The princess, working a part-time job? Can you imagine the scandal? How could you allow this, Kazuma? Miss Claire, don't be mad at him. This really is my fault. I'm the one who insisted on... Lady Iris, as one of your retainers, it is Kazuma's duty to support and protect you, no matter what. And that's exactly what he's doing. By supporting and protecting her wishes, by letting her do the job she wants to do. Wait, when did I become a retainer? Did you not vow that you would hold Lady Iris' safety above your own life? Did those words mean nothing to you? Well, no, but... In any case, I now understand that you are in need of funds. Why did you not come to me sooner, Lady Iris? Using the kingdom's money for myself seemed wrong. Okay. I'm still mad that she has this, like, thought process. Because if you're better, then the kingdom will be better. And so you're not doing it selfishly. As usual, your honorable and upright nature inspires me. However, you are also a citizen of the kingdom. I can arrange for a payment of 10 million eras right away. If I leave now, it would only take a few days to... Wait a moment. I don't wish to inconvenience anyone by... It is no trouble. Restoring your memories is the kingdom's highest priority. I will make the arrangements and return immediately. Yeah, I kind of like that Claire like is not even like entertaining the idea of... Yeah, no. L let me give it some money. She's like, no. I am getting this money from the kingdom and we are fixing your memories. Because she is right, that is top priority. That the leader of the kingdom should like have their memories and should know how to lead their country. I shall return within a few days. Kazuma, I trust this time you will not fail me in keeping the princess safe. Yes, ma'am. He, he never actually failed in that part. <laughs> like, she was still safe. She was working hard. But she was safe. And Lady Iris, you will refrain from working these part-time jobs again. Understood? Now, I will be off. Wait, Miss Claire! Woo, I thought I was a goner for sure this time. Sorry for getting you in trouble, Iris. I cost you your job, too. Please, don't apologize. It wasn't your fault, brother. I'm the one who insisted on working. And besides, I must confess, I haven't been entirely honest with you. What has she been doing? 
Like, has she been doing something scandalous on the side? Or does she actually have the money already? Because, like, I don't know, people give her money or lend her money. Uso. How so? Or does she just enjoy being with, like, Kazuma? That's why she wanted to work. So she wouldn't get the money and her memories back. I said I wanted to work because I didn't like the idea of using the treasury funds. But that wasn't the entire truth. All the pent-up frustration from losing my memories made me determined to do my utmost to get them back. You already told me that, right? That's why you've been working so hard. That is true. But it began to grow on me so much, I enjoyed it more than my duties in the castle. I thought I would make fun new memories if I couldn't remember my previous ones. Aw, that's actually a wholesome idea. Making new memories. But after a while, I began to secretly wish I could never regain my memories. Then I could continue living this life. And that's why you were against requesting the funds? That's right. I know it's incredibly selfish of me. And after everyone has been kind enough to offer their help. Could someone like me, who's thought these terrible thoughts, even be accepted back into the royal family? Man, she's way too damn honorable and nice. Oh my god. Like, I swear, if, if like, this was me, and, like, I just had my normal thoughts, it's like, guilt and other stuff would be eating at me. Because I would be terrible, being like, damn... I'm being so selfish doing anything I want. I see why Amy and the boss have been asking me if you were okay. What? They have? Yeah. They were saying even though you seem cheerful on the outside, you seem troubled recently. I'd never have guessed you were so worried over something so small, though. This is no small matter. For a princess to wish even for a moment that she is no longer wishes to fulfill her duties. Like, oh my god, that's just so wholesome on how she's so naive. It's like, you can be selfish for yourself. You don't have to dedicate your entire life to the kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, something small. Real duties or not, it's all the same. What do you mean? You're determined and never give up. But you're always thinking about everyone else's well-being at the same time. You're still the princess we know and love. Nothing's wrong with being a little selfish sometimes. And if you enjoy here that much, I'd be happy to sneak you back every once in a while, even after your memories return. Brother, thank you. On that note, I'm going to go negotiate with Shelly again. Negotiate with Shelly again? To what? Like... I mean, it's basically sealed and done. She's gonna go get the 10 million heiress. Do you think that's possible? She was willing enough to take your situation into account when 100 million heiress was too much, wasn't she? I'll just have to figure out some other way to make up for the difference. After all, I can't let my cute little sister down. Like, come on! <laughs> Are they really going to take 10 million heiress of debt just for this? It's all literally about to be covered. Stay here with Aqua and the others while I'm gone. Okay, I'll be back before you can miss me. Brother, I will. And thank you once again for all your help. Good luck in your negotiations. The next day. 
Veneers, Raven Death Ray. Okay, I'm guessing he's using this on Wiz. Oh yeah, why, why does he hate Raven so much? I forget. The pest got away from me. There is truly no end to them. Something needs to be done once and for. Vanir, what are you doing? Oh, it's you. I'm exterminating the pest that got into the town's trash. I am Vanir, the Raven Slayer after all. And you... Ah, going to negotiate the price of an item for your dear little sister. Difficult as she can readily afford it. That's true, but Iris is again the idea of using the treasury. I'm hoping to convince Sally to accept money Iris has saved instead. Hey, aren't negotiations right up your alley? I'm not all that savvy. I think you could. No can do. The pitiful shopkeeper is due back, and I must inspect her purchases. Resoundingly punish her, and then return it all. <laughs> I like how he already knows what he needs to do. But damn, that would have been cool to see. Like, I don't know, having Veneer, like, as an extra side character and not an event would have been cool. Like, an actual main story he would have taken part in. It's like you can see the future. Any advice you can give me then? Always needing this or that. Fine. You do prove rather useful in an occasion. I suppose I could spare a moment too. Ah, Kazuma Sato. Damn! Look at that fit! She has a cute ass outfit. Oh my god. And what is the succubus doing out and about in the daytime? I'm guessing they probably take her as an elf. But that's a pretty cute outfit. I really like it. The shorts, the like small little cape. Ah man, I can't I can't remember what that shirt's called. Huh? Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. Recognize this letter? How could you just bail on your, our plans? Unbelievable. There is no time to explain. I'll explain everything once we get there to the castle. Claire wouldn't come here and say Iris is in trouble for nothing. Must be serious. Sorry, Carla. Maybe next time. So, is she going to read out what that letter said? I'll have to leave her a note. Ah, this letter is... Wait, Carla! Where are your horns? Shh. Can it, mister? Do you think you can just walk around advertising that I'm a succubus? Wait, don't go changing the subject on me. I trust you know the rules, but just in case... There are no refunds. I know, I know. I promise something really important came up. I really hate guys who always make excuses. I take it you've got something to do with... Huh? Does she like veneer? Because that is actually going to be really cute or like an interesting plot twist or something for this story if she likes veneer. Ah, don't mind me. I was simply enjoying the sight of this pitiful youngster's embarrassment. I am unaffiliated. Right. But why do you look so familiar? Wait. Are you Lord Veneer? The Duke of Hell? I'm guessing all the succubus probably know of Veneer, but where their shops are is probably super like far away from each other that that the succubus don't ever go by veneer shop indeed i am veneer what of it no way like the actual real lord veneer can i shake your hand 
I'm afraid I must decline. I'd rather not soil my gloves. Are uh, succubus dirty, like, species to him? Like, is he too good to touch succubus hands? Oh, my gosh. That harsh and immediate refusal was amazing. Oh, I know. Here, take this special ticket to the shop. <laughs> Ooh -hoo. Oh my god. Okay, I'm feeling embarrassment for her. Ah, man. Th this is one of those relationships where it's like, obviously one side has no sexual attraction to the other, and one is just giddy. Now, I kind of understand her behavior. Veneer is that cool of a character, but unfortunately, he is going to decline because he's too good for it. Look at this man. He, he looks like he's dressed for business, not pleasure. Since when was Veneer so popular? Stop by any time. Any service. On the house, Lord Veneer. Well, good luck with your work. <laughs> Hatred, jealousness, something Kazuma's feeling. Don't look at me like that. Us demons have no gender. Though, your jealousy is delectable emotion. <laughs> I am not jealous. Sure. In any case, I offer this quote as a thank you for the animosity. Speaking frankly shall lead towards rewards. Speaking frankly shall lead to rewards. So speaking your mind slash speaking the truth will lead to rewards? <laughs> Good luck in your endeavor. Mohahaha. <laughs> What gives? How is that supposed to be helpful advice? Speaking frankly shall lead to rewards. What's that even supposed to mean? With Veneer's words echoing in his head, Kazuma made his way to Shelly's estate to try and renegotiate the deal. Alright. Yep, go to quests. Hmm. But I wonder if that advice was because of the Carla or if that was actually like helpful advice that Veneer uses. Okay, now we gotta use the rock team. Because I'm guessing if he would have said, like, truth to Carla, like, yeah, we need to help the princess, this and that, she would have understood it. But because he kind of, like, made excuse about it, she didn't care. Konosuba. Konosuba. <laughs> But yeah, so I wonder if the succubus would recognize, uh, what's it called? Wiz as well. Like, would they fangirl over Wiz? Or would they be like, Lord Wiz? Or something like that. Like, Veneer has a cool demeanor. Oh. 3,420 crowns is quite a lot of crowns. But yeah, I just wonder if it's like all the Devil King's generals that have like that status. Or if it's just Veneer because of his cool looks and everything like that. I also just kind of like how he tried to play it off. Like, I am unaffiliated with Kazuma. So, don't mind me. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. 
スピリアン。お兄様、私やりました。このスパン。受けられるクエストはこれだ。But, man, I really wonder, what does all of this gotta do with, like, the main story? Like, why was Carla introduced into the story? Like, I feel like there's gotta be something more to her than just being, like, a new side character. Like, every other side character has become a friend slash playable character in the game. So I gotta imagine that a Carla card is gonna come in the future. And maybe a Shelly card. Because the Axel Hearts have become a playable card. Mel has become a playable card. Uh, I'm trying to remember what her name is. Amy and Mia. And I, I can't remember who the treasure hunter is at this current moment in time. But yeah, just everyone that has been a part of the story so far has their cards. So, I really want to see. I want to see how she would play in the future, or at least... Arriving at Shelly's estate, Kazuma rang the front bell multiple times, however... Yeah, I just want to see if, if, like, they become a side character in the gang's shenanigans or at least becomes an antagonist or something like that. Huh. Nobody's home, I guess. I did kind of show up out of the blue, to be fair. Hmm? Was, uh, Shelly robbed or was she kidnapped? Because I'm guessing if you have valuable items like that, your place may be robbed slash heisted. Why is the door unlocked? Excuse me, it's me, Kazuma Sato. Is anyone home? Hello, Shelly, are you here? Guess nobody's home. But why was the door unlocked? Man, the number of books in this place just screams of a family of researchers. I probably couldn't even understand most of them. What a giant pile over there. Huh? This one's unusually thin. I don't see a title anyway on it. Let's see. Her face flushed and passion high escaped her lips as his fingers slowly caressed her silky smooth skin. Is... <laughs> Is he reading a novella slash, I guess, a fan fiction? Like something that's erotica? Ah! What are you doing here? Oh, there you are. I was hoping to talk to you. Wait a second. That book you're holding there. You didn't read that, did you? She's kind of having some darkness reactions whenever something, like, could possibly happen to darkness. Those are kind of the reactions she's kind of showing right now. Only a few lines. Shelly, is this your work? Don't get the wrong idea. There's no way I could would write such... Licious? Laz... Lascivish content? I don't know how to say that word. 
He must have heard her soft sigh as she felt as if... <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? Put that down. Stop reading it, please! So... I'm guessing Shelly wants to be a non-fiction writer. Or fiction. I, I forget what, what it is. But she wants to write books. You know, m make some uh, stories instead of doing research and just writing papers about that. I apologize for coming in without permission. Still. Ugh. I bet this is gonna be like, just like the police lady. Like, he's gonna have the upper hand, but of course, Shelly's gonna know she has the true advantage here. Because she has skills to obviously, like, kill Kazuma, or at least beat him. If he actually tries to blackmail her. I would have never pegged the researcher and the swordmaster Shelly as a type of person who'd author smut. <laughs> smut, oh my god. Could you, uh, maybe keep this to yourself? No denial, huh? It's one of my greatest passions. What's with her? First the thing with her fighting, and the glasses, and now this? I'm getting the sense this girl's as crazy as the others. Yeah, it's like it's always the nerdy girls who are somehow skilled in the weirdest stuff slash most useful things. So, so being super smart, being super skilled swordsman in self-defense, and then writing smut on the side... But, if word got out among friends or family, I would absolutely die of embarrassment. Speaking frankly shall lead to rewards, huh? Maybe Veneer's advice will come to use after all. Don't worry, I won't tell a single soul. Everybody's got their secrets. That's a relief. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, you see, I'll keep quiet about it as your hobby of writing erotic novels. However, in exchange... This is Iris' savings from work part-time for the last month. I'd appreciate it immensely if you accepted this as payment for the item. I don't know, 10 million Eris... For like the research they do, I would imagine the research is actually kind of grueling. Like they have to probably look over every single detail of the object, you know, figure out where it came from, and then probably do some research like how on that area and stuff. And that thing being shipped around to different researchers and other stuff, like I don't know. Like, I understand him trying to give her, like, the however many heiress. But you still gotta, like, give them some money to cover all that research. Because that could actually, like, bankrupt people. <laughs> Tish! I knew you were bad news after you tied me up last time. You plan to force to do whatever you fancy? Am I wrong? <laughs> oh! She has a mind just like darkness. I knew it! It's just like in my novels. Stop right there. I don't need another darkness on my hands. So, what'll be? Can we have that item? You do remember how much that item is worth, don't you? I don't really mind either way. But if you refuse, I have a strange feeling this novel may end up on shelves with your name on. Alright, fine. But remember this, you fiend. One day, I will discover a dirty secret of your own. Ahem. However, I have one condition in which I cannot budge. Oh? I guess I am asking quite a lot from you. Alright. 
Name your condition. You see, something in the area has been causing all sorts of trouble as of late. That night... She wants us to defeat some golems. Yeah, she said there have been some sightings of weird golems in the area around break. Shelly brought back a few of them for research, only to have them escape and attack the nearby residents. It sounds like those golems we encountered on the carriage. Ah, uh, wait. Okay, I think I remember those golems. Weren't they made golems? So, there were more of them. Am I to understand if we dispatch these golems, Shelly is willing to part with the magic item? Yep. That plus the wages from your months of working. She gave her word. You're amazing, brother. Resolving such impossible negotiations with ease. Yeah. Ah, amazing is an exaggeration, really. I only did what I had to do for my little sister. Oh my god, I hate the little sister so much. Well, I do feel a teeny tiny bit bad for exploiting Shelly's secret. I am helping her out in exchange. Fair is fair. How did those golems escape anyway? And why so many? They don't usually move in groups. Ah yes, I mean, the little details are unimportant. Okay, wait, if if those are the maid golems that I think they are, then that means she was dressing them up as maids, and they say master. So, there is some seriously horny programming going on with these maids. And plus, the outfits they're in are kind of skimpy of themselves, so I can kind of see where all this leads. I'm suddenly getting the urge to send this novel out into the nearest publisher. Fine, fine. I needed them for my novel. For reference, you understand, regarding how things look, poses, and the like. Dummies did not provide the inspiration I needed. But the golems, well, they do whatever you ask them to. So, I had them dress up in risque garb and pose. It was fine at first, but as things went on, they got disobedient. Then, one day... I knew you were as crazy as the rest of them. So, they're attacking people out of resentment. For the depravity he forced on them. In my defense, actually, no comment. In my defense, nobody slash uh, mannequins would not do it. People wouldn't do it for my amusement, and the mannequins just couldn't get lifelike feeling. So I made the golems do it because they, they don't have free will. They only have the will of their master. And so now that they turn on their master. The golems are growing more savage by the day. As their raids. My house's honor is at stake. Please, help me. You think a girl hailing from a family of esteemed researchers would have it relatively together. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't share these details. But I guess he's, like, really trying to keep her secret. It'd be funny to see what everyone's reaction is to all of this information. Brother, what's wrong? Oh no, you must be overworking yourself. All for my sake. No, no. I just got distracted by some unwanted thoughts. Matters as good as solved. I just need to see it through. Okay, though I might not be much help. I'll do what I can on the battlefield. Are you sure, princess? Considering the danger, perhaps... I implore you to take me with you. Though I held you back before, this time I promise to be of use to you. 
Such commendable bravery. By all means, witness the mighty arch wizard ply her craft on the field of battle. And don't forget a certain graceful goddess of the aquatic elements, witnessing a mastery over watery. I'm somehow even more worried than before. Still, when to pull your own weight is a good thing. Just one more errand, and we'll have the item and the Iris's memories. A very motivated Kazuma and company began to make preparations for the coming battle with the golems. Yeah, this feels like nothing but trouble. I feel like Claire is either going to get there before they're able to actually do the mission, or maybe during the mission, and that will get them in trouble. Alright, well, that's where I'll call it here for today. I hope you guys are enjoying Konosuba Fantastic Days. If you guys are, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok. Make sure to like and comment or anything, and even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do, watch my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Bye!